and what to wear for us. We so do. We're going to now do the makeup to accompaniment all of those beautiful clothes. And joining me today is Deborah Haynes from the Blush Beauty Bar, such a fantastic spot to begin with. And we're going to talk about some of the summer trends because things do change a little bit in the summer when the sun comes out, if the sun ever comes out. Yeah. And um, <laughs> it was here. Yeah, it was for just fleeting. But let's talk a little bit about eyebrows. I, of course, right. have none left because right. when I was in high school, you got rid of them. But Maybe. now we kind of go with a groomed, ungroomed look. What right. does that mean? So your brows, you, you need to groom them no matter what a little bit, but you don't want to look like you did. You, you have to look like you're not trying, really. It's about waking up and looking just like this, right? <laughs> so one of the trends is a feather brow, which basically meant that they were kind of splitting it down the center and having it go both ways. And I'm like, nobody can really wear that. So trends to me are about inspiration, you know? And so how am I going to make it work for me? So one of the things that Carly is doing, on this side Who over has here. beautiful brow, or what's your name? Emily has beautiful Emily has brows. beautiful brows. Yeah, and so one way to adapt this trend is just to, in the front, like where I did it on myself as well, just kind of comb some of the hair up. It looks more natural. It looks more natural. This is how she woke up this morning. Yes, nice going, Emily. <laughs> and then we were talking a little bit about blue eyeliner before, right. which terrified me because right. I wore way too much of it in the 70s. We, <laughs> but, but it's coming back in a better way. It is, it is. And so on this side on Emily, we put it in a way that everybody can wear it, which is just on the top and just slightly. And then on the other side is really the trend, you know, which is the winged out, a little bit more dramatic, um, just really strong. And this is by NARS, it's called Curacao. And it's just that bright cobalt blue. Mm -hmm. Now, if you can't do the blue eyeliner though, Tracy, for you, the nail polish. That's gorgeous. You know, just nail it. Get that blue trend in there somewhere for this summer. Why not? Right, exactly. So even if it's just on your toes. Even it if it's just on your toes, it's going to be it? awesome. Yeah, absolutely. And then I was so surprised because you do expect maybe a nude or a brighter lip during the summer, but you're saying rich tones as well. Right. So everything's about statement. So when you think about this summer and when you're thinking makeup, think statement. You know, everybody wants to make a statement and people want to be heard. And one way is with a bold lip. Mm -hmm. And so, you just don't have to do the bright hues like Carly has one yeah, of the Carly, really bright that's hues beautiful, on. beautiful, but it's a matte, and mm -hmm. I think it totally works. Right, and then you can also go really deep like what I did. So I think it's all about, again, adapting it to your personal style. Like, who are you? I'm not a real bright, bold lip person, but I like a little bit deeper, richer hues. And you saw this all over the trends everywhere. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Okay, one quick last question yeah. because you know it will heat up eventually or so they say. What, how do you keep your makeup on? Do you do setting spray? What works? So, you know, so back in my day we used to use hairspray on our face. Anything. And thank, <laughs> thank goodness we've evolved from that. So there are <laughs> setting sprays. I also like just a blotting powder. You know, nice lightweight. You can keep it in your handbag so it's really easy to just pull it out anytime and literally just blot out the shine. So I like without the, layering on. Without layering. Okay, on. perfect. Yeah. You want to keep well, it lightweight. You look gorgeous, Emily. Thank you so much for your expertise, and we appreciate you having you here, Deborah. Thank the you Blush for having Beauty us. Beauty Bar for your looks this summer, and coming up, we're going.